there in a flash. We know comedy is hard, so now the CDA is here to help, ready to drop in on a moment's notice to scientifically find and evaluate your 3.8 Agents are available day and night. No ventriloquists are never funny. The future of energy is a joke, and the Comedy Detection Agency is here to help. The CDA. We take comedy seriously.
This is Ella. That's why together we're Sam and Ella. Very well, today we'll tell you the story of the right here at Masters Inc. It's going to feature some of you as the stars. Except for that guy. <laughs> Already a star, he's that guy. Oh, good point. It's not a story about that guy, though. It's the tale of two monsters. The past is a big hairy scarer named Sully. Harry. And his best friend, Mike Wazowski. Yeah. Hey, that's Wazowski with one eye. Can you do this? <laughs> the moon lived in Monstropolis, which was having a power crisis. Everybody say, oh no. Oh no. Well, it was Sully's job to collect screams for power by making scary faces. Scary face. Oh, scary. And everyone would scream. <laughs> Wonderful. You see, that's how we made power at Monstropolis. Everybody say yay! Yay! Ah, but then one day, a little girl wandered into the monster world through an open door. And her name was... Boo. Why are they booing me? No, they're saying her name. Boo. Boo. You did adorable. Let's hear it for Boo. But then there was also an e there was also an evil scarer named Randall. <laughs> hey, neat thing about Randall, he could turn himself invisible. <laughs> Be invisible, disappear. <laughs> <laughs> but humans are so cute at that age. Wait, no, 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 Randall's a villain. Oh. Yeah, Randall captured the trap by concealing in the human world, and Sally went into a tizzy. A tizzy. That just looked like confused indigestion. You, you're boring me. Hello. Wrap it up. Indigestion. You better well, wrap it up now, sis. Yeah. All right, all right. Sally went to a nearby little show closet to back to the monster world to try to get Boo back home. Then a rat to chase him on this roller coaster ride through the normal. Who took care of Randall? My case was water. He's still just gonna laugh. He was dead down. Small power. Okay, Danielle. Beam me the 
the number with the power of your mind. Ooh, that's good. We need to boost the signal. Excuse me, uh, sister, could you take your fingers and make antennas on Danielle's head and that'll boost the brain waves for me? Yeah, very good. Okay, Danielle, say the magical words, which are woogity boogity shaboogity. <laughs> Always watching. I'm Roz, and I've got a mold on me. I can still hear you. Oh, the ladies and gentlemen, performing the jokes you just said in, my nephew, Marty Wazowski. Oh, yeah, look at how many here I come. Hello, humans. Uh, All right, hi everyone. I'm Marty Wazowski. Hey, you sent in a bunch of really awesome jokes. So if you want to hear some, say, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Tim from El Paso. Tim says, how does the ocean say good morning? Everyone say how. How? It waves. <laughs> Brianna from California says, why does Peter Pan always fly? Everyone say why. Why? Because he can never land. <laughs> Here's what we got from someone in Minnesota. They didn't leave their name, but they left this joke. Why? How, why should you never play cards in the jungle? Everyone say why. Why? Because there's too many cheetahs. And then we got one from Mackenzie in North Carolina. How come you shouldn't dress as a band-aid for Halloween? Everyone say why. Why? Because it's too hard to pull off. <laughs> <laughs> awesome jokes. Thanks for sitting in everyone. Hey, you know, I'm going to be a jokester when I grow up, because someday I'm going to go to Monsters University. <laughs> partner, you can do anything. That's why I want to find one too, so you make kids, raise your hand in the air if you want to be my comedy partner. Don't be shy, put them up high in the sky. Wave them in the air so Needleman can find you. Keep them, wave them in the air. Wave them really high. Keep Needleman over on this side, there's a human kid and uh, uh, looks like they got a great deal on those shirts. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> To buy one, get what's get six free. Hi, I'm Bobby Rose. What's your name? Um, Rose. Hi, Rose. How old are you, Rose? I'm nine. Nine years old. That's awesome. Rose, what are you gonna be when you grow up? A lawyer. Oh. A lawyer. Cool. Rose, that reminds me of a joke I heard. What do lawyers wear to court? Uh, a lawsuit. <laughs> What did the judge say when the skunk walked in? I don't know what. Odor in the court. <laughs> That's awesome. You want to be a lawyer. I bet it's hard to decide what you're going to be because there's so many cool things you can't be. Rose, do you know what I would want to be if I was a human? No. I want to be that guy! <laughs>